Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Industrial Automation. Let me check the volume levels here, because that sheep sounds loud to me. Now well, it looks like that's okay. Um, last time we built a way to build a catalyst, and today we're going to take advantage of that catalyst. But first, I thought I'd tell you a couple, talk about a couple things quick that I made some decisions on. I'm getting a lot of requests for my Minecraft jar and people saying they can't get the mods to work. Well, I really can't get people my Minecraft jar. It's just something I'm not going to do. But I will do, what I will do is when I update all my mods to 1.5, in that, I will do an instructional video and set up a, a uh, message on the forums with links to everything and instructions on how to get all the mods installed. So hopefully that will help address some of the issues with people having problems getting it running. And that I still haven't decided if on 1.25 I'm going to restart or not. Um, there's some neat new things coming up in industrial craft that are pr pretty high end and I really would like to do so at this point I'm leaning towards not restarting but we will have to wait and see so anyway on with the crafting here let me go ahead and bring up my crafting bench and what we want to build is called a forester which takes some sort of uh, engine and then this. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is build two farms because they're fairly cheap. And then we're going to go and build our two foresters. Now foresters help plants grow faster but they only work currently in wheat farms, rubber tree farms, and tree farms. Now I'm getting more than enough rubber tree stuff so basically I'm going to put one in my wheat and my uh, tree one because I need the wood for charcoal. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some pipes here. Let's see, I'm going to need some two supplier pipes, so let me get out my remote orderer here. And you also notice I went back to my normal uh, texture pack, because I just didn't like doing the uh, other, so. So we're going to need two basic logistics pipes. And I think we need, well, let me double check. I'm not 100% sure on which is which. I'm always, let's see, provider, provider, supplier. That's what I want. And I was right, it's lapis. I always get confused about which ones take lapis and which take glowstone. Okay, and let's see, I think I have pipes up here. Let's grab some iron pipes. Some stone pipes. And that should really be all I need, I think. Probably won't need the iron pipe, but we'll see how it goes here. Okay, let's go out and get our catalyst going here. Let's 
first of all, we need to go way down here to the wheat farm. I've extended another new quarry. I actually ran out of sand. So my bogger production was down because I need sand to make bogger. So I actually wound up grinding up like eight or nine stacks of cobble to get my sand needs back. So those of you who might be wondering about it, that oh, I do need something else. I completely forgot engines to drive it. Well, that's not good. So let's go ahead and get it set up, and then we'll go grab some engines. Okay, and I need my wrench. Now you sort of do need engines to make it go, so means I'm going to need more supplier pipes and other stuff so let's go ahead and get what we needed I can't believe I completely forgot about engines to drive this so we'll go here and order two more of these and lapis. We need four of those. And engines. We need two of those. And two of those. And I think that's it. So hopefully I remembered everything this time. Okay, let's go ahead and dig down a hole here. And we'll put down our supplier pipe. Let's go ahead and click on here. Still have to stack. Oops, I want to do that. And now we get the engine. And of course, that means I need my wrench, which I moved out of the slot. I knew that was going to happen, but I did it anyway. And. Redstone torch, normal pipe, and is this actually getting any peat? I don't see it yet. So is this getting with it? And the, oops. Dang it. I am so bad at clicking the right. That came up with its catalyst okay. So why are we getting no peat here? For a peat engine. Are we out of peat? I guess that's possible. Let's go look. Yep, we're out of peat. Well, that's disturbing. 
Let me steal a little. Whoops. And I'm just doing all sorts of damage with that today. I think I may need to build yet another peat farm because obviously, now it could be because of my big backlog of bog earth, which should be fixed now, but I may have to get another peat farm going. I'll probably do that off camera because you've already seen me build peat farms twice. So, so let's go ahead and click on this and put the peat I stole in there. and put back our dirt okay now this should start fertilizing the uh, crops so that we get our wheat faster so now let's go to our tree farm and basically do the same thing let me steal some peat from here Now this is probably going to be a little bit more complicated. Ah, da -da. Let's see. Well, this I built the old way, which I don't actually need to do that way. Do -do -do. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to do it that way, okay? Go ahead and remove this pipe and this pipe, this square of ground. Get out our pipes here. Put one there, one there. Okay, we'll put this one down here. Go ahead and stick our catalyst in. Go ahead and put down our engine and our redstone torch here. Ah, it's dark, isn't it? Take that! Haha! -ha. Let's go sleep quick. Now let me clean up these guys that are burning quick. Wow, these skeletons have become like crack shots lately. <laughs> I heard a boing. Must have died. Okay, so we go ahead and put down our peat engine. And it will automatically drop our yep that looks like it should work so let's go ahead and lay down this put our peat in here Yeah, I could shrink this nowadays, but I think I'll leave it the way it is for the moment, since it's working. But yeah, these engines aren't necessary anymore. The pipes will pull it straight out, so. So let's run over here. I did some exploring off camera and that because I wanted to find some new chunks. And this is a new chunk desert, which I primarily got so I could find bees.
Oh, did my snowman die? Well, what do you know? My snowman died. Or despawned or something. So, I will have to go take care of that here in a minute. And this is my new jungle teleporter. Oh, egg. Which I've cleared a little area of the jungle here, but it looks like it's fairly massive jungle out that direction. And uh, the combination of tree, tree capitated and jungles, you can generate a lot of wood really, really fast because these trees are really huge. And tree capitated will take down an entire tree. Let me show you here. Get out my chainsaw. Here, chainsaw. Thing. And we're going to go down here to the root of this tree. Just one tree, one little swipe. And you can just see all the wood that one tree gave me. I got 52 wood from one tree. So, uh, in future, it may be that I'll send up my, if I'm lucky enough to be near a jungle, that I will be cutting down some of the mighty trees of the jungle to feed my initial need for charcoal. Oh, and my cart's back. Let's go ahead and unload it, and I'll show you what I've been doing. What I usually do is I let my cart make two trips. And I run down here. And you can see where I've had it go other side tunnels. And what I do is I let it go to side tunnel down two trips. And then I basically tear up the tracks here. And lay them down to go another place. In this case, the opposite direction. And then what I usually do is I'll run down, down here. And then I'll manually mine stuff like this. That it's exposed. So I'm doing really good on resources between the two quarries and the train. Oh, there's a creeper sitting down there. And several people have gave me various comments about the mob spawner. Apparently the mob spawners, if I understand what one person said, I haven't been able to check it, they only work if you're like within about 17 squares or so, 16, 17 squares, do the mob spawners actually active. So what I'll usually do is I'll want, when I wander down here, I'll stand long enough for three or four skeletons to spawn. Because once they spawn, the trap will go ahead and kill them fine. So so it's not the most effective mob spawner around. And I may have to find another source to get bones at the rate I want. Oh, let's go kill. Give me your gunpowder. No gunpowder. I keep getting hit by creepers down here. And I also... This big ravine I found here, I've done a little exploring on. But I haven't explored anywhere near all of it. So... Oh look, a skeleton. I swear they've become crack shots with the patch. And my little mining cart has unloaded its goodies and reloaded itself automatically. So I'll just go ahead and push the little button and send it back on its way. And it looks like we got some stuff there. So let's go ahead and throw this and this in. And what's this? Huh. Sapling miniature changed or uh, icon changed. I 
I have noticed I've had more problems with stuff with frame rate and stuff um, refreshing the the uh, drawing in the distance with 1.23 I don't know if it's an opti this version of Optifine or if it's some other issue hopefully it will get a little bit better when 125 comes out um, basically the mobs mods are just beginning to update for 1.25 um, I have a 1.24 test world but since red uh, power never released in 1.24 I will be skipping it and going to 125 once all the mobs are updated and I think at this point it's a good time to call it an episode so as always if you enjoyed the episode go ahead and give me a like or leave me a comment and if there's something you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I don't promise to do everything. There have been a couple of requests that I may get to, including a much more elaborate reactor area. Um, and there's some neat new stuff in Railcraft when I get to update the new version that I want to show you, plus a couple new mods I want to add. So I do have some new stuff to doing. So at this point, like I said, with 125, I'm probably going to continue this world for now. And uh, hopefully people enjoy it. So until next time, as always, have fun Minecrafting.